go ahead and select any card that you want to. So let's say you select the Three of Spades. Three of Spades happens to be my least favorite card, but I guess I'll forgive you for this one trick. Oh, well, the next time, you're on your own. So Three of Spades, we're going to lose somewhere into the middle of the fan, and then into the middle of the pack, and then I'm going to see if I can take the top card and do a little bit of magic with it. So the top card right here is the Queen of Hearts, and uh, we're going to see if we can take this Queen of Hearts and change it into your three. So let's give this a shot. We're going to take this queen, we're going to give it a little spin, and then a magic wave, and it is now your three of spades. First you need to start with the card control. Now I do have an entire playlist of card controls, but for now let's just say that you do a double undercut and take whatever card it is, you make sure you have control of it, do a double undercut, and you're all set. So we'll start off with something very basic for now. But the basics of it is you need the card up to the top. After that, and you have the entire playlist of which ones you want to actually choose from, you're going to have to do a double lift. So again, double lift, very simple, turn over two cards, pretend like they're one. Now if you're going to be doing more social media magic, make sure the cards contrast. You don't want a bunch of black cards. You'll want a red card to do this with a black card. And the more they can contrast, the better. So now after this, what I do is I give it a little bit of a spin and then I do this convincer. Now the way that I do this is because I have all these cards that have air cushion finish. Air cushion finish means it has the little lines in it and that means you can use the air pockets to your advantage. So you're going to push this here with three fingers down the one side and your thumb on the other, index fingers in the back that I'm pushing out those air pockets and now I can flip it up like it's only one card. So now that you have that you can catch it and you're going to put your middle finger right here on this corner with the value and I turn it down this way. Now the original way that Bertram change works is instead of doing it the way that I do it because my hands are a little bit thinner, they actually the exact size of a playing card which means it's a lot easier for me to bleed, I decided to change it slightly now I fit my hands a little bit better. Now that's not an excuse for someone who's trying to do magic and say well I just can't do magic. Sometimes you just have to adapt a little bit. So you take it here, you do your convincer and normally you take it here and you put it into a Tenkai palm and then you bring it here and you end up lining it up. I'm personally not a fan so what I do is I take it here and then I line it up straight across with my middle finger and then when I'm here the other value is going to be in my thumb. So I'm here, twist, right down the line, now you're set. Now obviously your angles you're not going to want to be here so they can see both cards. You're going to want to be where your hand is going to be covering that. But that should be pretty obvious already. Now, when you're here, you're going to be going straight down this line. And the great thing about this one instead of the other is that when you're doing your more presentation, so it's more here and you're just doing like a wave, that's actually for a real purpose besides just presentation is you're lining up the front of this card. So you're here, you do your steal, you bring this out, and as you're here, you're coming across, you're literally just basically setting this on top, lining it up, and using that as the presentation. So from this angle, once again, you're here, convincer, twist, steal, over the front, line it up, and you're set. So at this point, you can do just about whatever you want. You can do a second convincer like I did in the intro, and then you can take it here, put it back on the top of the deck, and now you can then have their card in the second, in second position. You can now bury this and do an ACR or whatever else you want to do. So I do hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and if you'd like to see more sleight of hand tutorials or specifically ones for smaller handed people, let me know in the comments if that would be helpful and I'll catch you guys in the next one. And if you have a specific tutorial you'd like to see, let me know what that is and if you want to pick up the cards, they are 10% off in the description below. Still available, although probably not for long considering their orbit for 10% off. So use code CARDPERFECTMAGICIAN and I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is CARDPERFECT. Signing off.